Hey, good, good afternoon. Uh, Dr. Erickson with Executive Health Solutions. Um, just trying to give you a little bit of, uh, this is more of an education uh, video and a little bit of technique on a move that uh, a friend had asked me to um, assess her, um, really it's the right leg, it's the back of the leg in the hamstring area. She had fallen down the stairs uh, twice, really, fallen down two different times. The pain is in the back of the leg, kind of it was in the low back and, and buttock and now into the hamstring. Um, but the key here is when we talk about it and you know what makes you better, what makes you worse when the pain comes and goes, it's really sitting. It's sitting in the chair at work brings it on. Standing and walking around generally feels better. Test the strength, you know, the good hamstring strength, no increase in pain in that. So when you think about the, the differential diagnosis and you think about, okay, the, it's pain in the leg, oh, I hurt my hamstring. That's, that's the common thing you're gonna think of because that's where that muscle is. But when you're sitting, that muscle is on, um, it's basically relaxed, it's, it's shortened, you're not, you're not actively uh, moving it. And then if the sitting is what causes it being flexed and seated, is what causing it, and then you stand and walk and actually use the muscle and it feels better, and you can resist it with uh, manual resistance with my hand and she can pull back and it doesn't increase the pain. We have to at first at least assume um, a lumbar spine problem that just referred to the, to the low back, or sorry, it's just referred to the hamstring, the right hamstring area. But now, even if we didn't have any of that information, we have to, it is, it is um, you have a, you have a, a duty, a, a responsibility to at minimum screen the lumbar spine and make sure the problem is not there. I mean, that is absolutely has to be done um, with, with any any situation, any any pain in the in the uh, back, low back. Uh, sorry, that's the same thing. Low back, hip, leg, knee, calf. Any of those still have to be screened out with the lumbar spine. That's kind of shaky. Um, so I'm going to reposition the camera here and then show you what we'll try first. Okay, um, it's going to be a prone, which means lying on your stomach extension in the line, kind of a really bad push-up um, that we need to, to, to assess that the low back or the lumbar spine into repeated extension because, like I said, we, we talked about her being worse with sitting um, and being in a flex position and then being better when she's upright and moving. So this, this is more than likely what's going to change it for her. And um, when I thought about that, I said, well, okay, I'm going to try to share this with other people that may have that similar um, pain where they're thinking, man, I hurt my hamstring somehow. It's not going away. It's not going better. They tell me to do these stretches, do these hamstring stretches, do these exercises. It's not any different. It could be because it's not actually a, a hamstring problem at all. So let's, let's uh, put this down here. I'm going to see if I can get this just positioned just right. Um, about there is probably pretty good. Okay. So you'll start with lying face down. Actually, you'd start with getting a baseline or a, a location of the symptom, how far in the, in the leg it is, where it's at, and then the intensity, how much. And then we're going to keep the low back and the hips completely relaxed. You'll have your hands on the, on the floor, or if you have a table similar to this, it's possible, but more than likely on the floor. You'll push straight up, 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 elbows focus, elbows locked. Breathe out. Put the hips fall down so it's not it's not this it's not here it's down here got to be relaxed so it's not it's um muscles not tensed it's got to be relaxed in the lower back and butt muscles one two three come back down brief come back up again one two three and down focus 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 there we go do this by myself so it's kind of i don't know why it's doing that every time and come back down. So we're going to repeat this a good 10 or 12 times and then stand back up and see if it's any different. And down. There we go. Up. And down. And so after a good 10 or 12 times of, of locking, breathing out, then when we stand, we have to kind of we have to kind of reassess and see where the symptoms are at location wise and intensity wise if they feel better or worse if they started at a four out of ten and it changed more than likely what will happen with this movement based on her symptoms i'm hoping if if it's uh, you're very similar it will be a similar 
uh, outcome um, or net result is the pain will either decrease in intensity or it will feel like it's moving from the hamstring. It's moving up the back of the leg and you may feel it more in the butt, cheek, or in the low back. And that's, that's centralization, that's probably a good thing. You need to keep, keep doing those for a good 24 to 48 hours. Let's see what happens if it completely goes away or just a little bit left. Um, the way you'd want to stop and not do it would be if the intensity significantly increases, you know, seven, eight out of 10 pain, or if it starts to go further away, like below the knee or into the calf or heel, then that, that is technically wrong. It may, it may be the direction, maybe the load, there's different things. You're gonna have to drop me a line, um, get a hold of me, either leave a comment in the video or uh, website, um, www.exechealthsolutions.com. There's a link to my email there and then we can uh, we can get that fixed for you. But the majority of people that have similar symptoms to my friend here that I'm talking about, pain with sitting, um, had a fall, pain that goes, it's unilateral, just one-sided, don't know why, it comes on when I sit, it goes, it feels better and goes away when I walk around. Um, probably a referred pain from the low back, which this one most of the time will take care of. Um, so again, Dr. Dr. Gris with uh, Executive Health Solutions. Um, you're a concierge physical therapist in the Omaha, Nebraska area. Uh, love to serve uh, you, busy professionals, um, business owners that are that are time sensitive. I, I like to give you time, freedom, and convenience by coming to treat you uh, at your office, at your home, at your gym, um, or in this case, I'm actually in the in one of the rooms in the clinic uh, in Elkhorn, Nebraska. Um, okay, that should be that should get you going to start with. Thank you very much.